Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be looking at the new icon functionality in Power Apps and it might seem like a, a small insignificant topic but it really isn't. It's, it adds a lot of value and it really makes it a lot easier to style your apps and to make them more interactive. So le let me show you what I mean. So we've got a blank canvas here and previously if you wanted to do, add a new icon you would have gone to icons add and let's go and say we want to add and this is part of the problem I'm looking for a specific icon but there's no way of searching for it so I had to scroll up and down to really go and look for it so let's say we want to add a document icon and um, then change that icon if the document is actually approved so over there you'll see that we've got an icon control and inside of that control we've got an icon and previously that used to be fixed so if I had, if I wanted to add another icon, so let's have the one that actually shows that it's been approved, I would have had to add a second one, stack it on top of the other one, and then play around with the visible properties in order to choose and, and specify which one gets shown under certain conditions. So there you'll go and say if, uh, if the document is approved, then you would... Um, display the one with the check otherwise you display the other one now that worked okay but the problem with it is it takes a long time to set up and to style and to really make sure that there are no discrepancies between the different versions of these things so luckily we don't need to do any of those anymore because what the awesome guys at Microsoft have done is if I click on this control on the right you'll see in the panel there's now a property called icon so we're in the icon control, and that makes sense, but now there's also an icon property inside of the icon control that allows me to change the icon. It not only allows me to change it, but it also allows me to search for it, which is fantastic, because previously I must have scrolled up and down that list a thousand times in my life, where now you can go and search for what it is that you're looking for. So now we're looking for a document with a check mark in it, and then you'll see it updates that directly in the control. So that's that's very, very cool. So you can change this in the panel, or you can also access that property through uh, programmatically. So at the moment, that's set to the document check properties. So you can go in here and just change that to uh, document as well. And you'll see that it'll, it'll change it directly in that control again. So this is called icon.document. So... Um, you could use that in, in other controls as well to set this if you wanted to, to set variables and, and these sort of things. So that's, that's very powerful. All right, so the, the property icon is, so the icon property rather is one of the changes. The second one is the rotation property, where if I now for whatever reason wanted to change this thing or this icon, I can go and put it at a 45% angle or degree angle and there you'll see it's sort of sitting on its side. So that's a very cool way. If you wanted to make a sad face even more sad, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but that just looks super sad. All right, so that's what the rotation icon gives you. Uh, you can combine that with timers and then literally make it turn around and spin and all of those lovely things. But what I'm going to show you today is just how easy it would be to adopt this in a live production environment and then what are the typical use cases for the icon property. So here we've got an example of a Power App that uses two icons and then basically shown a height then based on certain conditions and criteria. And in this example we've got an arrow icon. Let me show you what it does. So if we've got, um, if this section is expanded it shows you the up arrow in order to collapse it. And if it's collapsed, then it shows you the down arrow in order to expand it. All right, and this is currently using two separate icons, and there they are. So that's the collapse and the expand icon, and uh, they basically, this using, is using the down arrow, and the other one is using the up arrow. So what we can now do is we can combine this into one, and basically all we need to do is we can actually go ahead and delete the one, and then we just have have the one and we'll see currently the visible property for this is saying if um, 
this filter on this collection is empty then this is visible so I'm just going to copy that and turn the visible to true so we're saying this specific control is always visible so it's no longer the control that's visible or not but actually the icon inside of the control that's being manipulated and now we can go into the icon property and at the moment that's arrowed down so what we want to do is basically we want to say that if that is empty so let's put an F in front of it then we want to specify arrow down otherwise we want to specify arrow up okay I love this uh, data preview in the formula bar as well yes this is fun it's been so much fun you working with us so thank you for that Microsoft All right but if we now preview this just get get it ducks in a row these uh, dynamic galleries or uh, flexible height galleries could uh, mess you around a bit if you if you jump in and out of the studio but essentially within a minute we've got exactly the same functionality with less controls and less possible points of failure so I think all in all a fantastic enhancement there's one thing more I do want to show you though is we have opted in this example to change the icon but what we could have done as well is we could have changed the rotation in this specific example so we've got uh, let's just make this a little bit bigger so at the moment we're saying if that's empty then we're showing the down arrow so let's just change this formula to say always display the down arrow and then we can go and play around with the rotation so we can go and say that if it's empty then we want to have this as zero degrees um, but if it's not then we want to turn it around by 180 degrees so the, you'll see it, it does exactly the same thing uh, just a different way of doing it and this will actually allow you a little bit more options where you can have uh, this arrow or this this icon do many different things based on certain criteria so I think all in all a, a nice um, a nice announcement from Power Apps and I think small little announcements like this just makes the environment more mature overall and um, for, for that I'm very very happy to see so uh, thank you for watching and uh, please let us know if there's any questions or suggestions and uh, see you soon cheers bye bye